Hello everyone, welcome to Power Playground. This is the second 3D printer vlog here, and today we are inside of my bathroom. I am sitting on the toilet, and I moved my 3D printer into the bathroom. This is because my previous office is about a couple miles away from my house, so it's kind of a pain whenever I had to go back and forth to check the print, so I just went ahead and moved it in here. It's really the only room we have right now, so yeah. What I'm going to do here first today is I'm going to go ahead and Level our bed, we put this new PEI type uh, finish. Oh, let me go ahead and show you. All right, so I went ahead and put this new uh, PEI material on top of the bed. Let's see if we can get a better focus. It's just like yellowish plastic material. Just, uh, of course, it just raised the bed up by on a few millimeters, so I just need to readjust and re, re level everything. I tried to do it the other night, uh, but yeah, just with this three axis leveling system here it's kind of a pain so yeah, let's go I'll go ahead and uh, get to that and then we're gonna print out another calibration print I got some new software which I'll be showing you all a little bit uh, it's a uh, simplify 3d I think is the name of it kind of costly but it is pretty easy so we'll see how that stacks up we'll see how that prints with our new our new calibration print and then we'll start printing out some things here well, all right, folks, got the printer calibrated, and uh, we're just preheating it for the first test calibration print, so hopefully everything will go as planned. And uh, while we're waiting for that to print out here, I'll go ahead and just minimize our time lapse for now. I uh, just want to show you here, basically, um, I found a dual extruder model. It is on the CBOT printer, which the DBOT is a modification of, which is really neat. So that's, we don't have to redesign that or anything like that, which is awesome. I'm pretty sure these hot ends are mod or relatively close in size if not we can make some slight modifications shouldn't be a big deal got all of the parts ordered that we need so far so i filled up my bill of materials just waiting for a few thing few more things to ship and then i'm gonna have to machine out that j head hot end a little bit and of course i'm gonna go ahead and show you this simplify 3d software uh so far it seems to be working pretty well as you can tell from the time lapse this is the print that we're doing here this calibration cube thing uh, I'm excited to see how the overhangs will look here I, of course I don't I'm upstairs from where the printer is so I can't see it printing right now but you all can and uh, yeah that's pretty cool software it's 150 bucks a little bit pricey but honestly I think it's worth it personally because I it just I didn't really have to screw around too much I just had to pick my printer in the initial setup wizard and that's pretty much about it um, and of course I had to set the bed temperature differently from what it was pre or initially set to which is always a little too high with this printer i don't know why they insist on going with 110 degrees celsius that's pretty crazy but uh yeah, everything's good to go of course uh all parts i got off of a uh, mcmaster car mr metric uh, amazon ebay and this open builds website with this uh linear rail v slot linear rail stuff of course i got the wheels to go with that so really cool stuff um that's pretty much about it here. Uh, some other things I do want to kind of go on. I'm going to make some sort of enclosure for this printer. Don't know if it's going to be like an extra thing. I'm going to try to integrate it into the design of this printer as best as I can. Um, of course, the gantry system may make may prove, make that a bit difficult. But I will uh, make it work. And then, of course, I'm going to make a, a special mount probably somewhere in the front here where it's going to, uh, there's there going to be a mount for my action camera so I can do proper time lapses with it without having to worry about, um, <clears throat> excuse me again, yeah, without having to worry about uh, getting the camera too cl or too far away with the tripod. I just have it stick right there and it just, uh, just stick it in there, hit record. But yeah, if I can just have a convenient way to do time lapses in a quick fashion, it'd be really awesome, especially I just love showing them. Um, but you all love seeing them here. It's a pretty neat little thing just to watch some print really quickly, even though it's a really slow process in real life. But yeah, let's go ahead and get back to that print here. Should be time lapse should be well done by now. <laughs> all right, folks, went ahead and uh, finished our test piece here. It's uh, working, looks pretty good. It's actually really, really smooth. I did uh, 0.1 millimeter resolution on it, and of course, the bottom it just. It's really nice because it, con it conforms really closely to the uh, texture of the rest of the sides compared to being like really smooth and really rough. So that's really awesome. So that's plus. And we're going to go ahead and start with our uh, next piece here. Let's go ahead and fire up that time lapse and I'll see you next time.